We're all on deck to start laying these rocks. Sunshine's mixing the mud. What a man. Woman and old man are spotting me while I'm in the tractor setting big rocks. Come down a little more. And Lucas. Just like this. He helps, too, sometimes. I'm getting ready to set this two-ton grotto lid. What was that? Careful, man. Don't jerk. I heard the straps rip. There is no way our machine back home would ever get this far with this weight. But this machine's got two outriggers on it to hold it down. All right. OK, hold up. What do you say? I need it to hang over the front as much as the back. So tell me when we're about there. I got another foot. About another foot. Another foot? I can't hear a word he says. Tip it into place. What do you say? I can't hear him either. Well, get in there. If you can't hear him, I can't hear him. Yeah, you can come on down slow. Come down slow. Usually, I'm the mud man, but today, call me Sunshine, the human bullhorn. Nice. OK. Hold it. Wow. I love this machine. I think this is pretty darn good. Yeah. Level and balanced on the columns. I got the front of the grotto built, but I can't go any further. I need to basically figure out if I can take some measurements in order to fabricate the grotto that I need, because a real rock's just not going to be safe to create a grotto of this scale. It went from that point right, right there. there. I hate to do it, but I don't see any other options. So I found this factory in Massachusetts. I sent them one of my grotto rocks to see if they could duplicate it just as a test. We may have to build up off of this point oh, okay. to fill they in this little gap off. right there. So I need to go to Massachusetts to see what it looks like. But I can tell you right now, if this artificial rock doesn't look real, it's not going to be part of my build. At that point, I don't know what I'm going to do. 